Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for two Facebook groups fans of Serif Software and the Affinity Designer and Photo group. This tutorial is an adaptation of a Photoshop tutorial which I've seen. It's about converting a landscape image into a much sort of punchier, contrasty, detailed black and white image like I've done here. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a landscape, I wouldn't have thought, although I'd imagine it probably does work best on landscapes. Now I'm going to use this image which I got from pixabay.com, which is of Antwerp, um, just as an example. Um, I will add a link to this in the description if you want to use this to test it with, but it's probably best, best to try it on your own images. Now. I've tried this a couple of times on different images and it doesn't necessarily work brilliantly on all images but it will you know hopefully get a result that you may like. Now also I have found at one point in this you have to sort of desaturate the colors. Now you can do that in two different ways and I got two different results depending on which way I did it. So I'm going to do two versions side by side desaturated in different ways to show you the differences. So I'm going to be working the same image but at two different times if you see what I mean. So the first thing we need to do is to take all the colour out of this image. Now you can do this when you come to the adjustments. Two quickest way of doing this is either with the HSL adjustment or black and white adjustment. So I'm going to go first with the black and white adjustment and when this opens up you get this panel here where you can alter the sliders and change how dark or how light certain colors will look. Um, obviously like the grass was green so if I move the green slider you can make it darker or lighter. But I'm, go I'm not going to make any changes, I'm going to leave that where it is and then I'm going to merge that into the layer. If I come to this second image here, on this one I'm going to use the HSL adjustment and then I'm just going to take all the colour out and merge that into the image. So if I come back to the layers one, I'm going to rename this just so I know which one this, this is the HSL one and this one is the black and white adjustment one just so I know in my own mind which one I'm working on I mean probably the most obvious difference you can see here here the grass is much darker than on the black and white version so I'm coming back to the black and white um, desaturated version and I'm going to duplicate this layer by right clicking on the layer and coming to duplicate or you can just press Control and J you can even do it from the layers menu so I've duplicated that so if I come back to the HSL version this time I'll do it from the layers menu and I'll come up to layers and down to duplicate Okay, so now the next thing I want to do with this is to invert um, the layer. So again, you come up to the Layers menu and you can come to Invert or press Ctrl and I. This gives you this sort of um, infrared negative type image. And then you want to change the blending mode from Normal down to difference difference which gives you this sort of more detailed punchier almost cartoon type black and white image let me just do this to the black and white version as well so again layer invert and change the blend mode 
to difference. So as you can see here, like the grass in this version is now dark, whereas the grass in the HSL desaturated version is much lighter and whiter. So it depends on which version you prefer the look of. I personally think I prefer this version. So once we have got to this point, what I'm going to do now is to I'm going to merge these layers into a single layer so I'm just going to right click on the top layer and come down to merge visible which will just give me one layer that has everything joined together let me do that again on this one okay so now this is we just need to add a levels adjustment so again you can do it from the adjustments tab with levels and it's just a case of your own personal taste really you bring the black and white sliders in to make it a bit lighter or darker in certain areas for your particular image I'm not going to go too mad on that and if I come back to the this version here and this time I'll add the levels adjustment via this menu which is this half black and white circle uh, down here pick levels again I'm just going to move them in slightly it doesn't need too much yes yeah, so I like it like that now at this point you could just save it if, you, if this is where you want to stop um, in the Photoshop tutorial they then went on to add a bit of grain which is what I'm going to do next so with this what they did is they added a new blank layer like so above the top of the layer stack and then they filled that with 50% grey now you can get 50% grey from the swatches tab here and if you're on the greys which is normally the first one in the various swatches along the top here we have four which is like no colour black 50% grey and white so if you just click on the 50% grey option and then flood fill and fill that with grey let me just repeat that with this one. And to this we're going to add the noise. So you come up to filters, noise, add noise. Now I personally found that 20% is sort of pretty much okay. You can add more or less, it depends up to you. But it needs to be set on Gaussian and with a tick in monochromatic and then just click apply and then change the blending mode to linear light and there you have this grain added to give this more vintage feel to the image let me just repeat that on this so that's filters noise noise and change the blending mode to linear light again at this point you could stop um, and just have this more vintage punchier black and white image if you did want to make it slightly more um, vintage looking you could change it to like a sepia color um, but before I just want to uh, do that I just want to show the compare and this is like the version I prefer which was the using the black and white option to take all the color out and this is the HSL, HSL option of taking all the color out which is a more um, negative type look to it where this is a more I think a more natural looking black and white image 
So this is the version I'm going to stick with. So again, if I do want to make it look more sort of older sepia color, if you come up to recolor, if you do it from the adjustments tab, you you do already get a sepia option as standard. You could do it from the panel down here, but I'm just going to click on that and close that. So there you have your vintage looking image with a bit of grain in it. So that is the end of this tutorial. Whether you use the black and white or the HSL adjustment to take the color out, I will leave it up to you. But you have both options. You could try both with your images to see which one you prefer. I mean, I imagine some images will work better with one option than they do with the other. So you've now got the option of using both. So thank you for watching and goodbye. After making that video, I decided to make some macros of both versions of the process, be it the black and white adjustment or the HSL adjustment. And I'm going to be uploading those macros to the file section of both the Facebook groups, Fans of Serif Software and the Affinity Designer and Photo Group. So you can download them from there if you so wish and if you are members of both those groups or either one of those groups. Um, it's a fairly easy process. You don't necessarily need the macros, but I've done them for you anyway. Um, so if you want to use the macros you first you need the macro or library um, so if we come to the view menu and down to studios and then down to library it will open up the library section and once you have downloaded it you can come to the this little menu here and import macros and then navigate to where you have those macros situated um, and then import them into your library. Now I've called this punchier black and white by Carl, this particular selection and as you can see there's two versions, there's the one where I've used the black and white adjustment and the one where I've used the HSL adjustment. So all you need to do is just click on one of those and it will automatically do everything for you. Um, I've added the sepia uh, recolor adjustment, but if you don't like that, you can just remove it. And if you want to tinker with the levels adjustment from the previous step, you can just double click on that adjustment and tinker with the adjustments that way. So let me just press Ctrl and Z a few times to get back to my start image and show you the other version which is the HSL adjustment. So again if you don't like the recolor sepia look you can get rid of it and tinker with the levels to suit your particular image. So those options are available to you to download if you don't want to go through the whole process every time. So that is it finally. Goodbye.